Even before the death of Emperor Kaozong eight years ago, the word of Wu Ziten, his wife, held sway. Since then, the Empress has wisely guided her emperor's sons, deftly managing each like a hand puppet. Now, after refusing the throne thrice, Sui Zhong has abdicated in favor of his shrewd and cunning mother. Thus, our exalted empress no longer hides her authority behind a curtain. Unfettered by strings, she now reigns supreme over the doings of the imperial Tang court at Chang'an. As chief municipal minister of the empire, a heavenly empress has placed you in charge of building a second capital at Luoyang. Capital cities have been built previously near this site, but no former ones were as great as the new Luoyang will surely be. The sage mother, China's first woman to sit on the imperial throne, has also appointed you to oversee construction of a beautiful temple complex. Should you find a restful moment, she would also like for you to procure a handful of exotic animals from the far reaches of the empire. In this way, she can better understand the marvels and vastness of her greater estate without having to travel to its four distant corners. Finally, to make the city's elite wards even more pleasurable, large and exquisite private gardens can be built to beautify your city. No doubt the city's well-to-do citizens will appreciate having one of these elegant parks near their Xie He Yan. G'day mates and welcome back to Emperor. It's been a little while, I've been, uh, some of the episodes have been a bit erratic lately, I haven't been getting them out as smoothly as I would like, simply because I'm in sort of an exam period at the moment. But I've got a little bit of a break and I would like to throw down another episode. So heading into Luo Yang again, building yet another capital. Uh, let's dive right in, right on in, and see what we have. We'll pause that and <clears throat> okay. Looks like we've got the ruins of an old previous city. I'm sure we've been out to Luo Yang previously. Um, let's have a look what food we've got. Okay, three food types there and fishing. So there should be sufficient space along here and there to get a decent amount. Actually, there's heaps of fishing. Although the fish are quite far away, there doesn't seem to be anything up here. Just a couple there, so... A fair bit of fishing food available, that's four food types. Heavenly compounds, I think they only require four food types, they may require five. So we might need to import something to finish them off. We have... Looks like we've got iron somewhere on the map. Uh, hang on, the mission goals again? Temple complex, big population, uh, high quality housing, and five animals, so we can get a couple of animals <clears throat> to begin with. Uh, where is the iron? Iron is... Okay, there's the iron there, and it's nice and not too badly isolated, which is good. So I can get a good couple of furnaces set up here, and something set around. I think furnaces, yeah, they can go on the, the water table. Uh, they don't like trees, but uh, they like metal, and I believe they like whatever rocks are, whatever element rocks are, but they'll take water as well which is good. So I can clear out some of these trees and really smash in a bunch of furnaces down here to get that going. I don't want to clear too many trees though because we're going to need logging sheds to uh, provide for the steel. You need a, a carbon material of some sort. <clears throat> Weavers and paper makers, what can we... We can grow mulberry, so that means silk, which is very, very nice. We can get some silk going, which is good to have a high value good for once. We've had a couple of uh, low value goods in a row previously and kilns so we can get clay from somewhere easy easy uh, what was the other thing I wanted to look at the gods let's have a quick look at the gods here we've got new wife capturing animals I think she can capture animals too um, your military and your defensive military so they're the only two military heroes we got we haven't got the monkey king from last episode hmm I also want to have a look at the, what was that? The private garden. Ooh, that's kind of cool. So what does it like? It likes water, it likes trees, doesn't like metal or, or rocks or cliffs or anything like that. Okay, so it's sort of like a, like a house, basically. So it'll fit in wherever the houses are. It looks to be, I think it's slightly larger than a, yeah, slightly larger than a, uh, in a noble house, so I'm gonna to have to try to squeeze it. It's about the same size as the Tai Chi Park, I think. 
may even be slightly larger. So it's a very, very big thing, but very beautiful. So maybe I'll see if I can squeeze a couple of those in. Um, and the other thing that jumps out, this is not a particularly big city. I think I'm gonna have to do most of my farming down here. Because, unless I can get the three of them, like I'm gonna need at least two blocks. Let's have a look at that population goal one more time. I'm gonna need at least two blocks to get 3,500. And I'm going to require another block of heavenly compounds. So put them, you know, further away perhaps. So I could probably get some farming actually down here. And maybe leave this side for silk and other industry stuff. But we'll figure that out uh, once we know who we can trade with and how much they're going to be buying. Kashgar will take a decent amount of silk. Yeah. Hmm. I'll figure this out and I will cut back once I'm ready. Okay, we're nicely set up to begin with. Uh, everything here should be in perfect feng shui. Yes, it is at the moment. So I've got a couple of little linkages in between here to try and make this a more coherent looking city. A uh, little back route back here. And I'm not just using this for, for good looks. I will at some point try to, uh, to use this possibly for pottery production or, or something at the back here. I'm not sure exactly what I'll do. It may even be a shortcut for some of the farmers going up to the... Uh, the mill back here but with enough space for farming down here we can get all our fishing put along this border here and we should be in a pretty good situation to have everyone just come on in i'm gonna get the safety up to a high one it does tend to prioritize safety anyway uh for some reason it's, it's i guess it's good design but uh putting it on high priority will just ensure that water and uh and uh these firehouse things are all taken care of Okay, and the trade agreements are beginning to come in now. So Lhasa has rejected. I don't think I've ever accepted trade with me. Uh, Yang Zhou rejected. Chang Zhou has opened up. Excellent. Guangzhou, a uh, couple of rejections here. Uh, Chengdu's open, which is nice. Sabi, yep. Yeah. Um, I think that was everyone. I Did I forget somebody? Um, ah, I forgot to send one off to Niall. Take that one, get that one sorted shortly. In the meantime, let's have a look what we've got here. Lhasa will buy silk, so we might be able to bribe them off, which is going to be good. You need silk as well. Lacquerware, tea. Actually, I think I need stone for something, so they may be valuable. I can't recall exactly what that monument will require. Uh, carved jade. Yeah, it looks like carved jade can be done fairly easily, if we've, uh, assuming we've got the jade carvers. Uh, now I want to buy weapons, which is a bit unfortunate. I would like to go into weapons early. But I suppose silk will be where we go, and we can just import the weapons if required, or just make them locally as well. Uh, although you need you need weapons and carved jade. So perhaps uh, focusing on Yang Zhou as a secondary trade route will be important. It's probably useful to start with somebody who's already open and just work on silk, because it is a far more valuable trade good, as well as being a hell of a lot easier to produce overall uh, and none of these appear to be water trade routes because we are centrally located i thought uh, young Zhou might have been but i guess we don't know just yet either way we got ourselves some food set up here uh, once we eventually get the workers which is going to take a long time over a hundred workers at so one two three four five six i could just right click them they need 10 each uh, so that's a fair chunk of uh of worker stuff. Um, have I left space for a bridge? No, I have not. So I'm gonna have to knock one of these out and destroy them. Ah, uh, no, actually I can come over here. No, I can't. There's a rock in the way. It's a pain in the ass. Uh, looks like I'm going to need to get... Hmm. I'm gonna have to knock one of these out and put in a, uh, a ferry landing at some point in order to cross over to this side. But that will happen once our food begins rolling in and these people are leveled up to the next level. Okay, the food is pouring in now. That's uh, one load done, and these guys should be ready to drop off another load very, very shortly once they get back. So with that, I think we'll start feeding one person. We'll feed these guys here, which should allow them to uh, level up. We're not gonna provide in hemp or a second food type. So they're gonna go up to, I think it's called a plain cottage, the third level, I think it is. And that will give them a, uh, that will give them a good little bump in workers. We've got 500 people at the moment and we're about to head into unemployment territory which is brilliant. That's exactly what I need. 
with that, I can start working on getting... Uh, how are we going to do this? I'm going to knock out... Probably just one of these end guys, actually. Probably a better choice, because I don't want them travelling too far for dropping that stuff off. Although, I don't think it matters at this point. Uh, looks like we're loading that up quite well. We can probably move into the second one shortly. So, we've got some good unemployment here. Let's start working on getting this sorted. Uh, okay, for the next season beginning in April, we've got two of these working, and uh, now that I've got enough unemployment, I'm going to just put a couple on and trickle in. Actually, I think I can get them all going. That's brilliant. Okay, we've got them all going, which is great. What I can do now is throw down a warehouse to store this. Unfortunately, I didn't want to cut into here and get these rocks access, so uh, this uh, inspector's tower and the warehouses are going to be out of... Uh, Feng Shui. So I am breaking perfect harmony for the first time. Let's just double check everything else is good. Yeah, that one there's out. And the rest of it is perfect. So I was going to be doing perfect harmony all the way, but uh, no rocks available here and I'm not going to dick around and uh, make an ugly looking city just for a few points of that. So we're going to get this here sorted. I'm going to need, what am I going to need? I'm going to need you to go here because I'm going to need you to hold raw silk because we're going to have a lot of it coming in. <clears throat> I've currently got these guys deactivated, although now that unemployment is shooting up, I can probably start activating them, although I am going to wait until the um, the farming starts, although it may not go that long. I think I'll just have to activate a couple of them bit by bit, but either way, we're going to get that done. We're going to have another warehouse here for silk. We can hold silk, and then we can start throwing down the trading warehouses as required here with a little bit of extra room to expand the silk production as required. Uh, he seems to be going all the way around. So he's coming out, let's just double check this, I don't want to have any issues. So he comes out, walks all the way down here, passes both of these two, and does a full loop all the way down, that's brilliant. So that is a stable loop, I'm just double checking that everything's working. So it was going to go back slightly, hit the end, came back here and then hit his 33 tile and completed the loop. So I can throw something over here as well, if required. Uh, oh, okay. Nia has requested an alliance. Brilliant. Join, does that mean we're trading? <clears throat> yes, it does mean we're trading. What do they buy? They'll buy more silk and uh, nothing else of particular value. They will sell us some paper and some salt if we require it. So we might not need to import all those additional food sources. Uh, looks like things are going well here. We've got more than sufficient food, I think. So they're dropping off another load here, which means I can actually activate the silk industry. And it shouldn't. Okay, it did take us down a little bit, but all I'll do here is just make uh, religion back up, put industry as a lower priority. So the farming here should keep going at full speed. Yep, it is. And then these will just pick up as required. So with all that silk coming in, we can probably start feeding our people here. Give you a shop. And then the next up, I'm going to have to start working on agriculture. And I can fit that in quite comfortably here, I think. Alrighty, and there we go. Farms nicely set up. And we are catching one of the crops. We're not going to get... Uh, doesn't say when the harvest for wheat is. Begins in August. Wheat must... I don't know. I'm not sure what's happening with wheat, but uh, soybeans we will get, and uh, cabbage we've missed for the entire year. I don't know, I have to take that back. Cabbage begins in August, so actually we're going to get a couple of good seasons in. We've missed the wheat by the sounds of things, unless they uh, start at a later date. I'm not sure what's going on here with the information, but uh, we're going to get a couple of food sources, and that'll allow us to hopefully level up. I am going to require hemp, though, and I think I can probably even squeeze hemp in here might be a little bit out of harmony, but at this point, in for a penny, in for a pound, we're just going to commit to it. I can get, uh, yeah, I can get this stuff in here. I think won't be too close to those guys. Okay, silk is out and pumping. Actually, you can probably even expand the amount of silk people we've got. As our unemployment begins to tick up, I'm going to start doing that. But first of all, we need to trade with someone. Now, I've chosen Chengdu because they will buy a small amount to start with. But they'll also sell me the weapons I need and uh, that'll allow me to sort of get that military started before... Uh, quicker, sooner rather than later. I'm just a little bit concerned that uh, I don't really have the space here. I have thrown down 
this uh, temple complex up here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, really because that is the only space left for it. And if I set up a huge big military weapons production down here, I may run out of space. So I'm going to edge into that later. For the time being, I'm going to export what I've got and just import a couple of weapons. So to that end, who was the in Chengdu, I think? Yep, Chengdu are the ones I'm going to start with. So we'll throw down some Chengdu right here. Export... Uh, import weapons. Let's import up to say four for the time being and export all the silk we can and while we're at it we'll throw cash guard down as well because they are highly valuable to us and we can export all the silk available <clears throat> now of course I can set up a bit of a jade import export business over here as well but uh, we'll leave that until a bit later I think I just need to make sure that I have enough unemployment to get my military going when required Okay, ready to throw down the hemp shop now. This will level up this block here. We didn't actually get a huge amount of hemp this year, so this may be a little bit uh, premature. But uh, we've got a little bit that should keep us going. We've got more than enough food types. So hopefully we can level these guys up and move on to a uh, getting that military done. And I think that's going to involve setting these guys up here. I'm going to need to... Thank you. I'm going to need to move on to taxation very shortly. So I... We are really running out of space. I probably shouldn't have cared too much about uh, Feng Shui here and just sort of stuck him in a little bit more tightly. I could have maybe one one row and then a second row up there. May end up doing that later if we have some major shortages. Uh, for the time being though, things are looking good. I just need music to go any further. And look at that, we've got a nice little space right there. It's almost like I planned it. <clears throat> now next up, next up is going to be the various admin cities, which we've got the space for. And I'll throw you guys in back here. Well, it's a bit unfortunate. We're just importing some jade here, and I have, we'll stop that now, and I've noticed that we have no jade carvers at all, so uh, that was a little bit silly of me. But either way, it doesn't matter too much. I can then gift that away to uh, New Wire. She's getting a little bit neglected. How come I can't gift that? I know why. Because I need it to be in a... Uh, into a storage yard before I can do that. <clears throat> I'll get that sorted now and we may as well start throwing down... haven't quite got enough people just yet. They are starting to level up and once this now next hemp crop comes in we're in a much better position. So I can give that away to New Wanya. She's just tipped over into Unhappy and uh, that'll bring her right up. Probably even worthwhile importing one more Jade. Okay, festival at Yangzhou. Five lacquerware vessels we do not have. Who will sell us lacquerware vessels? We've got more than sufficient cash, so I'm not bothered with that at all. Uh, the question is, can we bring them? We can't make them, I don't think. No, we can't make them. So I do need to import the whole lacquerware vessels, which is going to be... First of all, it's somebody who trades with me. Ah, <sighs> sells lacquer... Oh, is Lacquerware, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Ah, oh, here we go. Chung Zhou will sell us. They'll also buy silk, so let's throw down Chung Zhou. And uh, they can be our next trade partner. I'm going to put a little space there, just in case I need to build a road up there. It also happens to make it uh, harmonious. Not that that matters too much. Now, we can import rice from these guys as well, uh, but we'll, for the time being, we'll just sell them the silk. Uh, nothing else is particularly valuable. We're not really producing that much silk either. So I'm going to use that once Yeah, once this uh, hemp starts flowing through you can level these guys back up I'm just gonna bump that up quickly because we are losing workers quite rapidly uh, Then we'll be in a much better position And piece of cake dispatch off those lacquerware vessels and for the time being we're actually going to stop importing them Because that's going to destroy our income. We've already lost about 4,000 there Although I suspect some of that was buying weapons as well uh, we are br gradually bringing in the weapons. We're going to have an infantry and a cavalry fort. Once I get these guys up here running, which will be the next thing I do after I get um, ceramic production going, then we will be moving on to getting our noble set up so we can expand our military. This should be a high enough level for now. I don't necessarily need to go up to appetizing food, although the option is there as soon as I need more workers. But for the time being, I'm going to focus on getting lower level guys in. So let's go throw a hemp shop for you and really send our unemployment through the roof. Uh, I'm going to need a paper maker as well. Let's get onto that quicker, sooner rather than later. I think 
two paper makers will do it. I'm gonna throw in a, thank you. I'm gonna throw in a sneaky little warehouse just here. You're gonna hold nothing but paper for the time being, but you're only gonna hold a small amount of it for that. And we're gonna have ceramics for um, the remainder of your storage capacity. You can be a ceramics warehouse, probably again overkill, but all, uh, all three blocks will be drawing from it. So that should be sufficient. And then uh, throw in a couple of others over here. Just want to double check that the uh, Grand Market Square fits here. It does, but it's gonna have to have a couple of changes. Otherwise the dudes will get lost in it. I might just put that up there, I think. Okay, peasants have demanded a raise. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass, but I think we can walk, work around that quite well. I'm gonna throw down an inspector's tower here. And it's because it's a little bit janky, this area, I'm gonna throw down another one and just sort of hope that they cover this area. If they don't, things burn down, then, oh well, shit happens, I suppose. But uh, for now, I think that should be sufficient. Just get these guys in. And uh, and then we'll be good, I think. We'll be well sorted. Uh, what have we got here? Five, ten. Alrighty, Nia is needing weapons. This is, uh, this is a little bit of a problem because that is a lot of weapons. So what we're going to do is buy up to the full capacity and I'm assuming I can just see yeah, I can just send straight from the yard so we're going to bring in as many weapons as we can uh, I haven't bought that much this year so I can easily get them in uh, before time is up that's not really a problem uh, in other news I'm still leveling these guys up they need an acrobat so we're getting there we're slowly slowly ticking over and uh, very shortly we're going to have uh, well we've got the surplus we need and there we go, 10 racks of weapons for Neo. We can send that off. Now, I'm going to not hold up to 24. Though. I'm going to bring up to 12 because that may be a regular occurrence. I think that may be part of the 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 story mission of this game is Nia needs defending or something because I just built that last time and it had the Great Wall or something like that, I think. So perhaps we're going to have to dispatch troops. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to happen, but I'm going to keep a couple of weapons on hand to ensure that Nia is... Uh, is ready we're not going to be taken advantage of or taken surprise in the future so throw a couple extra weavers here oh shit and we'll be good uh carve jade being off from near i will actually take that because we can sell that and i'll get there in a second let's store that down uh oh shit how much did i bring in god damn it i've uh, been importing heaps of jade one at a time i forgot about that uh, doesn't matter. Uh, accept the carved jade in here as well, if I can find space for it, and uh, we can sell that off as required. Alrighty, Nia is under attack. This is a bit of a concern. Last is attacking them. Uh, we're going to have to dispatch some troops. I'm going to send off both of our troops available. We haven't actually built up a particularly large uh, military presence just yet, but I'm going to dispatch those guys, and hopefully that will allow us to uh, actually defend Nia. I'd hate to lose them because they are. Well, they're not hugely valuable, but they will buy some silk from us and uh, you know, sell salt and paper if required. So I'd hate to lose them, but uh, those two troops should be sufficient. Alrighty, now Sabi is invading us because we sent all our troops off to Nia. We have a small problem here. Um, hmm. We need these guys to level up, and to do that, they need an acrobat. So let's get that acrobat done as quick as we can. With an acrobat in, um, I suppose there's not bad. And they can get that sorted. And then we're gonna need to get a theater pavilion and a drama school down as well. We can get those, uh, whatever, just go there for now. And they get these guys leveled up because we're gonna need a military quick smart. We have some good weapons, but I'm actually going to import up to 24 of it, just so that we can train an army as quickly as humanly possible. And, uh, Things are looking pretty good so far, other than that small problem. Alrighty, I've brought in Gwandi, the god of war. So I had a quick look at some of the things he can do, and he can bless forts, among other things. So what we're going to do is actually set up some forts over here. So if I remove those, I should be able to get, say, an infantry fort, cavalry fort. Again, not harmoniously placed, but... Uh, I don't particularly care at this point. Clear a bit more space and a crossbow fort. Now, 
these here should be able to... Oh, fuck that. Oh, this game's frustrating sometimes. There we go, and we'll get that there. So, what I should be able to do is use him to bless the fort. Yes, yes, require employees. Should actually require quite a few employees. Um, now, what I can do, hopefully, is get him to bless it. Now, what's happened is he's given it a bunch of weapons, so we can start training them as quick as possible. And if I can get... Yep, yeah, four months, Subby will be here. Now, if I can get him down here, I can actually get him to repeatedly bless all these forts. And then I just keep gifting him uh, our huge stockpile of, say, ceramics, or in this case, carved jade we've got as well, and keep him happy as Larry, and that'll allow us to really pump out a massive military as quick as humanly possible. Okay, Subby is coming to invade us, and it looks like they're coming from uh, the west here, I think. Now, we can bribe them, but I think we're going to fight them and uh, take them out. There we go, invasion force defeated. We have wiped out the enemy. And in other news, let's have a quick look here. Nia regards me more highly, uh, and they were able to defend Nia as well. So we had dual attacks in two different directions, and we managed to hold them off. That is brilliant we're news. Not targets, but none are in sight. Excellent, thank you very much. Now, is there a way to send these guys back quickly and easily? Uh, not really, I have to manually select them. And our victorious soldiers have returned. Let's see, how badly injured were they? We have ourselves, I can't actually see them because their flags are over here. We've got, so we lost three infantry and, if I can click them, uh, three infantry and one horseman lost. So ultimately a fairly easy fight, all things considered. Uh, so those guys are done there. I've slowed down the importation of weapons. We don't need to have such an insane amount anymore. And we've got a lot more stuff that we can sell. So let's start finding new buyers. Now, Larsa, I may even be able to buy off Larsa. Currently, Nia is still with us. Uh, I think we're going to focus on people who aren't uh, necessarily enemies first up. So I'm going to go with uh, Liang Zhao. Let's give you a gift of silk. We've got lots and lots of silk around. And uh, we can probably even buy in some stone. I think we need stone for this thing up here. Okay, that's interesting. Looks like Lan Zhao has sent a spy to us and we have managed to reverse them. Now, I have a terrible, terrible um, skill at actually picking out spies, mainly because I don't actually pay attention to the walkers, they just, you know, screen clutter. But uh, Spy Reversed Lun Zhou, let's head over to Lun Zhou and do it. Now I've sort of vowed I wouldn't use spies in this game unless somebody used them against me. So you use something against me, what I'm going to do is now send a spy back to you, it should be free, I'm going to get you to sabotage their... Now I'm not really sure exactly what these mean. I'm assuming, I'm assuming military will weaken their military power, which are the little shields next to them, but that doesn't bother me. Industries will maybe mean they need to import more stuff from me. Housing, maybe that means they're importing more. Food supply, I'm assuming that means they need more food. So if I, if I do, I don't really know what this means. Let's just sabotage their housing. Um, but I'm also at the same time going to start trading to Lanjo because they are also going to open trade with us. So let's send them a small, sift of, uh, small gift of silk and we can start to export to them as well. Once uh, the other guys open up as well, we'll have a very good trading capability. Now these guys are already at Heavenly Compounds, which will be granting us a shit ton of cash every year in taxes. Uh, you are ready to level up with ceramics. And you need a tea shop. So I throw a tea shop there for you and a ceramic shop. Um, may as well throw a tea shop as well for you guys. And level you all the way to the top end. Okay, trade with Langzhou is open and, Lange, and Langzhou, like too many Zhou's around here, are willing to hopefully trade. So now we're going to get 
Nope. What am I doing? Get my buttons going. Get me Langjo. Spyroverse. Excellent. And it looks like we're not actually trading with Nia either. I thought we were trading with them, but I guess I never put it down. They will buy Silk from us, so we'll throw down Nia as well. Uh, at this point, I don't think we're going to need too much more. We're only buying 12 at a time, so there's a whole bunch of different things we can get. I'm going to start importing stone as well, because I think we'll need some of it. And, uh, and we're very much prepared for getting this monument done. Okay, looks like we have reversed another spy from Liangzhou this time. So let's send another one off, off to them. These are a different set of people. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it makes us much of a difference. This time we're going to send a spy and this one is going to sabotage their... Hmm, the industries. They will buy silks to see if that increases the amount of silk they buy from us. I'm not really sure and uh, probably not going to check back anyway. But uh, if those people are going to send spies at me, I'm going to send something back at them as well. And reversed another spy from Liang Zhou. This is getting a little bit boring now. Uh, I don't really know what to do with them. I'm just going to... I mean, they are respectful. I'm not sure why they're spying on me. But we'll send one and we'll sabotage their food supply and see if that makes a difference or not. In other news, unemployment's really, really high, so I'm going to have to throw down a couple of these things here. Now, there's nowhere really to put them. I'm running out of space, so I think I'll squeeze them up back here. Okay, with unemployment back under control mostly, 5% is a nice, comfortable middle ground. And we've set up a little weapons production facility here. Are there anywhere, anyone who will buy weapons? Um, they import them. I need export weapons. I'm sure there's somebody who will do it uh, somewhere. I may not have actually opened the trade route with them just yet, which is... Yeah, a lot of people import them and not actually export them. Uh, doesn't matter, I'll figure that out later. But either way, we've got a little weapons thing set up finally. It did take me a while, so we can stop importing them. We are now self-sustaining. Uh, just make sure everybody's on board and happy. And, uh, and I've got this tower up here to hopefully kill off the salamander before it kills too many of my people. I'm sure that sound is very loud in the background, so we'll take care of all that in post-production. But the screams of my, my people echoing throughout that uh, construction area. Over here, I've been beautifying everything up fairly nicely. It's, uh, it's getting there. I think a nice little uh, wayside pavilion just here with a nice big statue behind it should be nice. And we had another spy from Liang Zhao. Let's have a quick look at that one again. Um, more spies. I don't know, just sabotage something random. I don't really care at this point. These spies are not actually doing a huge amount of damage, but it does mean that they are out there. So let's see if I can actually find them. See if I can actually find the spy. They're meant to be people that don't fit where they're meant to be. So, for example, if I find a... Uh, a cart pusher over here or something. He's probably a spy. But I really don't know how you meant to know. You meant to just be able to right click them and find out. Mm. Nope, no idea. Although it does look like these people are devolving due to plain food. Now, uh, I think his name Semi Semi Precious Metals was telling me that. It was happening because when they get to these high consumption rates, they're too far away from the mill. Now, you can see here the mill is as close as it can be. It's, it's a, I mean, the only way it could be close was if it was on the other side, but that is just not feasible because you can't have multiple blocks like that. So these guys are devolving, which is a little bit unfortunate, but happy new year. Uh, but the mill here is as close as they can get. Now, they have... Tell them to buy plain. That might have been part of it. Why? Let's see if that actually makes a difference or not. If the appetizing food, perhaps they were buying plain food. Um, current is bland. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Maybe I do need to actually import something in. Who knows? At this point, I'm just going to see if that fixes it. If these continue to devolve, then there really is nothing else I can do. They are pretty much as close as I can realistically make it. Okay, it looks like Nia is under attack again. We're going to have to dispatch off some troops. This time we can send a lot more. Uh, we can send off the Audacious Rabbits, the Battling Rabbits. We can put in uh, probably another infantry and another cavalry. That'll leave us with um, that'll leave us with an infantry, a cavalry, and an archer fort remaining. So I'll dispatch those guys off. 
and that should be more than sufficient to take care of Nia, while also keeping enough of a force here behind to protect us if anybody gets a little bit aggro. So we have successfully defended Nia, and I'm just in the process of capturing an animal. So she's going to grab ourselves a panda, eventually. Yep, she got a, got a panda, so that was Ziwang Mu, I think it was. Yeah, Ziwang Mu. So she's in the city. She's also helping us construct this as well. Uh, we've only got the one Mason's Guild, so things are ticking along nice and slowly. I'm not actually rushing this uh, game particularly well, because we are in such a good position. The city is... Huh, looks like we're running out of tea though. Other than that, though, we're in a good position, so I'm going to need to get another source of tea from somewhere. Uh, 12 per year from these guys is an insufficient amount. So to that end, who will sell me tea? I'm going to have to go find someone who will sell me tea. Okay, tea imports are now coming in via Yangzhou, which is a dock trading route. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit fiddly here. It's not the most efficient route back to our uh, our tea spot, but hopefully that will provide us with a better supply of tea. These guys uh, are just not selling us quite enough, unfortunately. But uh, 24 should be sufficient between the two of them to keep everybody ticking over nicely. Now, let's have a quick look at what we've got here. Temple complex is very nearly built. Populations are well and truly covered. And of course, the heavenly compound is looking very, very nice. That's an odd number though. So maybe one of these... Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe they just haven't moved in yet, or maybe it devolved slightly. Either way, I'm going to start working on getting the animals done and, uh, and then we'll be in a much better position. So I've got one panda. I can leverage the panda into uh, into everything else I need. So if I send it to Liangzhou out in the desert and let's go maybe Luo Yang here in the center. Nope, that's us. Chang'an here in the center. Ah, oh, there we go. We had uh, the year of the rabbit and I clicked special gifts, which has given us a pheasant, which was a little bit silly on me because I uh, now have five animals in there. I was hoping to just hold off at four and then complete the temple, temple complex in uh, basically one more hammer uh, and then just enjoy the city. But plain food is delivered and they are currently appetizing. Yeah, so it's got nothing to do with how much food is available. What happens is uh, these blocks are just too large either for this difficulty, which uh, increases food consumption, or I have been told that difficulty doesn't change food consumption, but I mean, this block is just not stable and uh, it's not even at maximum length. It could be even a couple extra tiles longer. So really I'm not sure what I can do, but it's got nothing to do with how close they are to the mill. Either way, we're about to complete this final one that will move on to victory. Let's have a look at the city one final time. Uh, it's a pretty nice looking city actually, got the little connections in here between the area to make them all sort of uh, interconnected, it's like a, almost like a proper city, with these rows of streets, bit of a uh, commercial district here in the center, and uh, another commercial street up here, which is sort of our main uh, commercial hub, our main thoroughfare of the city. Over here the nobles sort of on the northern end of town, uh, the private garden over here, I thought I'd throw one of those in just for the fun of it, and it did fit there quite nicely. Uh, this is sort of the palace noble district over here with our large, beautiful pagoda. And of course, everything beautified down here, sort of in this little, uh, more the fishing village. Uh, I guess there's no houses here, but it is nice to sort of pretend that I suppose the, fu the fishers live down here. And uh, over here, sort of an industrial silk weaving district, uh, as well as a couple of weapons production and whatnot, with a small military force to defend it. And uh, not quite the... Uh, sort of the culture of the main city, but they do have a little bit of a Tai Chi park to exercise in the uh, in their off time when they're not working anymore. With that, let's move onwards to a victory very, very shortly. And there we go, temple complex completed, looking absolutely stunning over here. Once again, Luoyang is a beautiful and vital city. As chief municipal minister, you have done an excellent job directing the rebuilding. Its unrivaled beauty is truly something to behold. In fact, Empress Wu is so fond of Lu Yang's magnificent new temple complex that she has appointed her lover, Shi Waiyi, as its abbot. He in turn has discovered a mysterious religious text, the Cloud Sutra, which provides evidence that our very own heavenly empress is the worldly reincarnation of Maitreya, the future Buddha. All the heavens rejoice! Uh, heavens rejoice indeed. This is truly a beautiful city. It's almost like they knew that I would spend a little bit of effort here But either way things are looking absolutely spectacular 
On uh, sort of on the the game side, though, it sounds like there is a little bit of decadence starting to creep in here. The uh, what are we in the Yang Jin? I can't even remember which dynasty we are now. The, the Sui Tangs. We're in the Tang Dynasty. Looks like the Tang Dynasty is beginning to have a little bit of decadence creep in. They're starting to. Uh, maybe be a little bit detached from the people that they are governing and that is never a good thing you don't want to lose the mandate of heaven but either way guys i've been be like said this has been emperor smash that thumbs up button if you do indeed enjoy all this beautiful city building content and if not thumbs down button there waiting for you but at least drop a comment let me know exactly what i can do to improve and uh, what you think i'm missing anyway guys take care i'll see you around